Hello guys, welcome to a new video. Um, happy New Year as well, I guess, because it's the first video of the year. I would have done one sooner, but I'm fucking lazy, so, you know, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, uh, so DSP, right? January. What a month January was. It is absolutely insane the amount of shit he did in January, like stupid shit. It's like he wanted to complete his DSP worst moments of 2024. He wanted to get that all out of the way in the first month. It's absolutely insane. So obviously I, I can't, people ask me to talk about so many things and I can't, don't have it in me to do like a two hour video of everything that he went through in January. So I'm just covering this one thing today. I'm going to be covering this meltdown, which we'll go more into in a second. But yeah, there's a few other things that obviously happened, like, because people are messaging me and uh, asking me, are you going to talk about this? People are like, oh, oh, did you see that um, Cat uh, was on his stream? I'm like, yes, obviously I saw Cat was on his stream. People in the space station saw Cat on his stream. <laughs> so, you know, yes, I, I did see that. What do I think about it? Just in a nutshell, it's like, yeah, he's just using his wife for views. He's just, uh, you know, basically exploiting her, which big shock. Uh, she doesn't look comfortable being on there. He doesn't really let her speak. You know, it's just him being a dick. And after what he went through, you know, she's supposed to be his significant other, you guys. My soulmate. So why are you putting her through this then? She looks really uncomfortable. Why are you making her go through something that stressed her out so much? Like, you know, all them years ago. Why are you putting her through it again? Just so you can get like a few couple of extra dollars so you can do some more Hogan pulls. Like, oh, what a great husband. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, he's basically declared war on Argentina because of all this fake membership shit, <laughs> which is great. Argentinians, they, they do tractors, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so yeah, that happened. Um, what else happened, man? Oh, the, oh yeah, there was the documentary thing as well. He pulled out of the documentary. Well, he announced the documentary and pulled out of it in the same month and like oh big shock didn't see that come in probably would have been shit anyway i mean they you know i heard that review tech usa was going to be interviewed on it so i mean if they've got him being interviewed on it, it's probably going to be crap so i don't really care to be honest and we all saw the moment it was announced that phil was gonna quit i'm just surprised he quit as early as he did i thought it would take a bit more time but whatever anyway so today we are talking about a meltdown that phil had Less than a week ago, so it's pretty quick me getting on this by my standard. Um, yeah, uh, now, before we go, we're going to bring some context, because Phil doesn't like it when the detractors, you guys, they don't put context. So I'm going to put some context now. Uh, Phil is playing the new Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth game, um, and he basically, something happened that he thought, Ooh, it's, it's like my life, you guys. Basically, the characters in it, like, I haven't played it, so you have to forgive my ignorance on it, I don't know, but the characters in it were basically being slandered on some in-game YouTube thing. I'll play a clip now. Oh, come on. Have you not seen how people are talking about you online? Hey, show them the video. What some people to our channel come What the fuck check. is this? Let's get to it. Ladies and gents, our perp of the day. This man here is Ichiban Kasuga. Look, does this look familiar? I mean, not a VTuber portion of it, but it's all online slander, just like with me. Literally, it's just my story. People just making shit up online slander based on no facts, just fucking conspiracy, and it's ruining his life like they're trying to ruin mine. Former oh my fucking god, dude. Involved. This whole thing's bogus. <clears throat> bogus? T dude. They got the whole thing on video. Yeah. <laughs> just like me. Oh, I see. This is, this is literally my story. This, I think someone watches me and made this game. They wrote the game based on my story. It all makes sense. <laughs> That's gotta be oh why my I'm God. Today. They wrote the game based on my story. <laughs> Amazing. It's like the exact same energy. Last year, I did a video on him when he uh, did, like, he reacted to Review Brass content. He's like, did I inspire him? Dude, I inspired him because he uses a camera to record himself eating you guys. That's what I do. Like, okay. And now you have online trolls and the characters in this Yakuza game also have online trolls. So, yeah, it's my story. Yeah. 
oh yeah, I'm sure that is exactly what it is. I'm sure they're like, oh, we're making a game about the Yakuza. What should this one be about? Oh, you know DSP, the most interesting guy in the fucking world? Oh yeah, that guy who had the sh- his reusable bag stolen, that legend. Yeah, why don't we make it about him? Oh, brilliant. That'll be well interesting. Like, great. Oh, his Phil's Day Off segments are fucking like Martin Scorsese films. They're so fucking interesting. Yeah, make that a game. Of course. So anyway, yeah, Phil, of course, instantly hears something. And because his life is so boring and mundane, he immediately like associates it like with himself. And the only thing he's got going on, which is his YouTube like thing and like the trajectories. That's it. It's all he fucking talks about. So he sees an in here to basically talk about himself Again, I mean, he doesn't even need to have, like, a fucking thing like this happen. Like, the amount of times that he just goes off of talking about this shit randomly, like, someone will just send him a cheer or something and go, oh, this guy's just cheered, and he says, Phil, I really enjoy canting, and it cheers me up after a long day. Yeah, well, that's the thing, is, uh, you know, despite all the detractors I have from being kicked off the Twitch partner program, I always persevered. I mean, look what's going on at the minute with these fake memberships, you guys. Blah, 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 blah. And that's a little thing like that will set him off like that. So the fact that this, like, you know, has some the people being trolled on an online video, like, yeah, obviously he's going to, like, spend time talking about this. So I'm not going to play any more of this sort of clip because he goes on, like, for way longer talking about how, oh, this is my life, you guys, and it's really cringy. But you get the gist. That's enough context. So now we're going to watch later on. Has he, I don't even know where. Oh, this was on the Daily Wrap, the level one broadcast. I ain't fucking know. Well, so at some time when this greasy fucking warthog is sat down boring everyone, on one of those shows, he carries on talking about it. They don't, you know, what could they do? So literally because people have slandered them on the internet. These, this drama stuff. And it was funny because they actually said, so what is it, like a t- internet tabloid? That's exactly what it is. Yeah, that's literally what a ton of shit is on YouTube right now. A bunch of scummy tabloid people who have absolutely nothing to actually say about anything. So what they do is they literally make shit up. They take things out of context. They show pictures. They'll show video clips. They'll say, hey, this is what this person is and they're awful and blah, blah, blah. And it gets them clickbait views and it gets them popularity. And then the person who they're basically slamming is the one who takes the brunt of that and has to live with it somehow. He always says shit like this, like uh, about, oh, they get these things without key antics. I mean, even here he says, they'll get videos, they'll get pictures. Dude, nine times out of fucking ten in these things, the videos are the context. He does all this scummy shit. Like, I don't know, there's like, uh, oh, like the good example is when he made that uh, slave trade joke that they called him out for on the side scrollers. <clears throat> All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a right off for profits. And then he's like, yeah, but people don't have the context. It's like, what's the context? You've, you've made a joke about child a child going into slavery. Like, what, what, where's, the, where's the fucking context? Oh, you don't have the context. Well, what is it? Like, absolutely fucking stupid. And, yeah, he's like, oh, they just say nothing, blah, blah, blah. You have a following of detractors because of your shitty, like, behaviour over the years and how you've scammed people and you've consistently lied. Your personality, you're just an unlikable cunt as well. So this is why it's not for no reason. There's a million fucking reasons. The truth is, when people say, this is why we don't like you, we have proof of you doing this, you go, well, it's just nonsense, you guys. Don't listen to nonsense. It's trash. No, even kidding. It's just trash. And how do you do that when you're not someone of the stature of the person who's basically punching down at you? Well, that's the story of this game. I'm not kidding. That's literally the story of this game, right? And immediately I drew parallels. I'm like, so you remember what happened to me, right? You remember me working at Twitch for so many years? They never had a single problem with me. In fact, I was offered sponsorship opportunities. They had me play games like Choice Chamber and paid me tons of money to play it and and advertise the game. They had me do all these different campaigns and things. Here we go, Matt. He does this every fucking day. No exaggeration. Every day this happens, right? And and for someone that has supposedly got a business degree, this is so dumb. Why do you think, like, and he did sort of, like, do an apology, air quotes, the other day, saying, oh, people don't want to come to my stream for, to hear this stuff, you guys. They want positivity. And it's like, but you do this every day. Every fucking day. Like, you end up talking about the trolls, you guys. And, oh, oh guys, we need to step up. I need that money. 
or something like this, and you always pull out the fucking Twitch. Ugh, I was kicked off Twitch for no reason. Like, I don't want to go into the whole thing. I did a video on it a couple of years back whenever it happened. Like, uh, I'm pretty proud of that video, actually, so go check it out if uh, if you want. Um, but, yeah, it, yeah, actually, no, do go check it out, because I need the support, you guys. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, just going on about this, like, he, any excuse... He will bring up this shit. And he says here as well that uh, about sponsorships. Oh, yeah, Twitch uh, wanted me to do this sponsorship, that sponsorship, all this bollocks. And he has said several times this same sort of contradictory statements. Like, he'll go one minute like, uh, oh, yeah, uh, guys, I could get sponsorships if I wanted to, but I, I don't because I'm not a paid shill. I'm a crowd Funded individual. What do I mean by this? I mean that I need you guys to give me money so I can do my shit canting. And at the minute, I've got zero. Zero contributions. All right, that's one fucking angle of it. And then the other one is, guys, I can't get sponsorships because the trolls. Yeah. Who would want to sponsor me with the trolls? Yeah. Well, which is it then, fatty? Is it that fucking you can't get sponsorship because of the trolls or you don't do it because you're not a paid shill? Although, ironically, for someone who's not a paid shill, you're trying to force YouTube Premium down everyone's fucking throats. Oh, you don't like ads? Get YouTube Premium, you guys. And then you can support the content creator and uh, then uh, also not get ads. Oh, fuck off. And then just a few years later, I haven't changed who I am. I haven't changed the style of content I do. I'm the same exact guy. And they kick me out of the partner program. And when I ask them why they say something like hateful speech but then i will they refuse to provide any examples of what i'm talking about i don't know why he always forgets he's like oh it's showing like harmful words or it's hateful slurs i can't believe like again i covered this in my video on twitter his twitch leaving like I, he said hateful slurs and he exaggerated it so much that whenever he talks about it now he goes oh, i think it was Harmful words or something or harmful speech. It was hateful slurs. You fucking how can you not remember that? Because uh, uh, I remember it as well. Because when he said he goes hateful slurs, what are you talking about? You lame brain pieces of shit. I've never said a hateful slur. Like yeah, it was like a good meltdown, a very good meltdown. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's plenty of evidence out there. Like that they could find if they looked but you know again you're bitching about twitch going oh twitch didn't go out of the way to find evidence for these things well a we know the evidence is there so who gives a shit and b is twitch they're shit we all know this you're not exposing them also why are we now what is i think it's two years ago this happened why are you still going on about it because you said at the time you never want to do business with people like twitch because they're they're morons you guys or something like that well if you don't want to do business with them and you think they're shit why are you going on about it now two years later so come to find out, months later, I contact someone who actually worked at Twitch and they showed me the evidence that my haters, the people who don't like me, made a internet slander campaign. They basically packaged it all together. It was like this big epic montage of bad moments of my history. A lot of them were over 10 years before this time period. And all they did was made this edited, you know, here's the worst of Phil and presented it to Twitch as if, look, this is a guy right now who's on your site in your partner program, but, you know, look at all the things he's done, but it's not truthful. Number one, it's all stuff out of context. Number two, it's stuff that's outdated. I don't do that kind of risque commentary. You know, some of this stuff was stuff from 10 years ago before that I haven't done since and I publicly apologized for. Again, this out of context thing. I, I think you, you fucking need to understand what out of context means. These stupid things that you've said, even if they're old, oh, 10 years ago, you guys, it's n nothing like there's no good context for what you, some of the stuff you've said. So you need to shut the fuck up about that and saying it's not truthful. It is truthful because you've done it. And oh, but I went on to apologize about it. Well, let me ask you this. And this is something that I uh, when I was thinking at the beginning of this video, what was all the shit things he's did in January? And I forgot to mention this, his new channel, DSP Throwbacks, right? And this is a good little thing that I wanted to say, so I'll throw this in now. Here he is going like, oh, all that stuff where I did the hateful slurs and st uh, all, that, all the content that I did that I don't do anymore, you guys, and I've apologised. Okay, so you feel bad about all that early stuff, do you? Well, DSP Throwbacks is a channel where he uploads his old content with all the original, you know, insulting racial humour and all that, like, stuff. He puts it all in there. Right, and he's basically profiting off that content. 
Oh, oh, but it's okay though because he put he's apologised for it. But you're you're still profiting on that like uh, kind of behaviour, that commentary. So is that not a tad bit cunty? You can't be that fucking. If you're really that ashamed of it, why are you like going? Oh, did you like all that racial content, that racist content? Well, here it is in HD. I've upped the quality, and even even then, like the quality upped is like you know, very like air quotes. It's it still looks shit. But if you were ashamed of that shit, then you wouldn't want to be profiting off it. But that's what the whole DSP throwback channel is. And he's like, guys, it's like a window into the past of YouTube, you guys. Well, people can just watch your old playthroughs then, you fucking moron. What an absolute waste of fucking time. And like I say, you know, uh, if you apologise for this sort of commentary and stuff, why are you profiting off it now? Like, it doesn't seem like you're that bothered about it. It's like your apology is a load of bollocks, and if you can make money off it... Then who gives a shit? Uh, you guys want to watch uh, uh, The Window? What YouTube was like 15 years ago? Want to hear DSP make fun of a min minority? Yeah, well, you can go to DSP throwback, you guys. Just know that I don't condone it anymore. Fuck off. Right? So, literally, that's exactly the story of Like a Dragon. Showing things out of context not representative of what's going on or who the people actually are, but making shit up for drama's sake, and now they lost their jobs because of it. Again, I don't know what the story is of Like a Dragon uh, Infinite Wealth, but I'm, I'm pretty sure the whole story, you know, even if it is exactly what he's saying, okay, they're showing stuff out of context and uh, they've lost their jobs because of it. Okay, but in your case, most of the stuff, the big stuff uh, that you've done, the scummy stuff, isn't out of context. The, the amount of stuff, like, I think, like, just, I'll take me, for example, because obviously I know what I've done. I've covered all your, well, pretty much most of your big fuck-ups over the years, like the bankruptcy, the scam wedding, your cat scam, the when you left Twitch, all, all that stuff. Project 7 uh, scam, I did all that, right? And in all those videos, I had evidence provided as to what I was talking about. None of it was out of context. So what the fuck are you going on about? Like, okay, in the case of this Yakuza game, yeah, maybe the story is that they're getting, like, uh, stuff out of Keantix. But with you, that's not the case. The reason you have this this following of detractors, you guys, is because of all the scummy shit that you've done and, like, uh, the way you've treated your viewers, which we're obviously going to come to in this video, <laughs> uh, over the years. And it's deserved. And I'm playing, I'm like, dude, this is my fucking life. This is exactly what happens to me on a daily basis. I have stalkers on the internet who just make shit up you know, they have never substantiated their claims of anything that they've said in these things that are ridiculous. You know, every once in a while, he said, okay, we'll feel rage today playing Street Fighter, and he insulted some players. That's true. It's well documented. The footage is there. You can watch the footage on my channel, for God's sakes, right? Who cares about that? But the problem is the other stuff that they say and do about me that's completely falsified, that they have absolutely no concrete evidence of at all. But they say shit all the time. All these crazy conspiracies they come up with, and YouTube allows it. YouTube just allows slander campaigns for personal gain. <clears throat> it's insane. He never, ever goes into specifics when he talks about this. He goes, oh, it's all this stuff they just make up, you guys, with uh, no substantial evidence. Like, like what? And I know what he'd say. He'd go, oh, the escort saga from a few years back. Which, first of all, I don't know too many people that were, personally, I don't know too many people in the Detractor community that actually took that seriously. Myself included, I was like, well, this doesn't seem like it's an actual thing. But, okay, I'm sure there were people. So that's one thing. What else you got? Like, then that was years ago. All this other stuff, like I said a, a minute ago. The uh, wedding scam, cat scam, Project 7 scam, uh, your WWE champion stuff, which has been proven to be your account, your bank leaks, which you came out and confirmed were yours and then they weren't yours, whatever. You've been caught in so many lies. And again, it's ironic that you're sat here going, well, yeah, uh, they say there's all this stuff with no evidence. But what about all the lack of evidence that you fucking show? Remember on the Side Scrollers podcast when he was talking about how, yeah, I was going to show on the Side Scrollers podcast, I was going to show my monthly outgoings. Uh, I've got a piece of paper here. Oh, oh, I'm not sure if I can show you because it might hurt my family. And then he did a fucking little origami thing and showed you like a very small window. Oh, if you look closely, you can make out the letter T. Fuck off. Are you serious? You're going to talk about the directors not providing evidence. And how would you fucking know anyway? Because you don't supposedly don't watch this shit. And even when other people say something, you go, Oh, don't watch the directors counting. It's all for nonsense. It was just nonsense. Like, it's not nonsense. Nine times out of ten, it's from your fucking mouth, of your content. Hey, look, he said this. Oh, it's just nonsense. It's not, though. It's literally you saying it. So you're a fucking cunt and a liar. 
but whatever, I guess. Anyway, <laughs> things are about to go from bad to worse because um, when he's saying all this, <laughs> one of his longtime uh, channel members, this guy's been a member for two years, so he's not a, not a trek, do you guys? He's an actual um, former. He's since, like, realised that Phil's a twat and moved on. Uh, not sure why it took this for it to happen. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know that fair play to the guy or whatever, but my thing with it is... Okay, so he singled you out and called you a fucking moron. And then you're like, oh, okay, it feels obviously an asshole. I've realised. But how many streams have you sat on where you've seen him have a go at other people? And how come you've not clicked then? Hang on, maybe he's a bit of an idiot. Uh, I don't know, whatever. But, um, yeah, so anyway, this guy, King Be Cruel, he comments this in the chat. Not going to lie, it's very cringe that you were comparing yourself to this game. It's giving he's just like me for real, for real vibes. Or as Phil says, fr fr vibes. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, I'm sure most of you have already seen what happens next. But for those of you that haven't, try and have a guess how Phil responds to this. Do you think he laughs it off and uh, takes it on the chin? Think again. By the way, how about this? I don't know what the fuck idiots are talking about with memes and shit. Oh, it's like, he's just like me. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I don't follow your dumb fucking memes. So take your meme and show it up your fucking ass because I have the ability to make an observation that's factually fucking based. Just because I'm dark side Phil doesn't mean I get to ignore fucking facts that the characters in this game are going through what I go through on a daily fucking basis. Shut the fuck up! Ah, can you feel the positivity just, like, coming out the screen? <laughs> Jesus Christ, how angry does he get from this little comment? And you heard, fr 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 Fucking hell. Honestly, I, I, I yeah. Um, again, like, this fucking gout-ridden hippo is flying off the handle for something and having a go at, like, uh, a fan, a, a mem channel member for over two years has been giving this guy fucking money and he's going absolutely insane. Tell him to shut the fuck up. Of course, he goes uh, immediately into, like, ass stuff, like, kiss my ass. And, you know, he can't resist ass shit. Um, and dicks and all that bollocks. All this little angry stuff that he does. And for that, for what? For, like, a little comment. Also, he takes the wrong end of it as well. He's like, I can make a factual observation, you fucking asshole. Like, also, he does that voice that, um... <laughs> it's like he does it very rarely but you can tell he really gets angry the, the one of my favorite times he uses it is the oh oh dsp oh it's a meme oh, oh. that voice that he does uh, I, I remember when he did it i think he did it in demon souls or something he was like going like oh dsp oh you didn't beat the game you cheesed it something like that in that voice it's like it's his super like you've triggered phil voice <laughs> Oh, and by the way, just in case anyone doesn't know the meme, I'll put it on screen now. This is the meme that is triggering this fucking over 40-year-old gout-ridden fucking warthog. I'm not taking your shit. I don't care who the fuck it is. There's people in the chat right now. Oh, he's doing a meme. Oh, this is cringe. Shut the fuck up and eat it. Eat it. Give me your mailing address. I want to mail you a spoon so you can eat shit out of my fucking... He definitely has some sort of a fetish, doesn't he? <laughs> like, eat shit out of my ass. And he suggests a spoon as well for eating shit out of his ass. Isn't that interesting? He uses a spoon for noodles and shit eating as well. Like, such a good utensil, isn't it, apparently? And again, he did the voice. Ew, he's doing the meme. Ew, it's so cringe. Like, God, man, you're 40 years old. Calm down. <laughs> I'm tired of people saying that because I am who I am. I can't say a factual observation. It's a fucking fact that the characters in that game are going through what I have factually gone through on a daily fucking basis for years. So shut the fuck up. I am not putting up with any of this shit ever again. You're going to tell me I can't make a factual observation? How about you kiss my f And I'm fucking pissed about it. Because I see this shit. Oh, he can't say that. Oh, yeah? I can't say a fact? Oh, I can't say that. He can't say that. Can I say that? Oh, you fucking Steve Urkel. Gee, <laughs> uh, uh, again, let's look at this comment again. This is the comment that has triggered this fucking meltdown, right? And when we look at this comment, bear in mind what he just said. He just said, oh, I'm not allowed to say a fact that I've actually been through. Oh, he's not allowed to say facts. Where does the comment say that? 
It doesn't say anything about that. It just says that what you said is cringe. He didn't say you couldn't say it. He just said what you said is cringy, which it fucking is. It's wow cringy. It's also so fucking, like, egotistical that the first thing you think of is you. And it's not just in this. It's all the time. You, I've seen it on your DSP Reacts channel where you'll pause stuff and go, Oh, let's think about this. Let's think about how when I did this on YouTube to, uh, back in 2010, you guys, it always goes back to you. It doesn't matter what it is. What fucking world do we live in that I can't say a fucking fact, you bitch? Enough is enough with this shit. Yeah, King be cruel. King be bitch. You're gonna say dumb shit like that in the fucking chat? And everyone else who said that too. Because people in the comments, all my haters saying it in their videos. So now we know what you're watching every fucking day. Right? You dumb fuck. King be cruel. More like King be bitch. Am I right? Yeah. You got him good. Yeah. Fucking hell, man. This is so pathetic. And you just know that he'll go, Yeah, I roasted that guy. Yeah. Like he did with me in my pot noodle video. There I go being all making it about me. But yeah, <laughs> it's like that, Eddie. He'll say stuff like this and then go, Yeah, I just roasted this guy, guys. And again, remember, this guy is a member. Like he's been a channel member for like two years of giving Phil money. And this is how he's treating him. This is not a detract, you guys. This is a guy who was a fan who now isn't because of his behavior. And this is where Phil's like, oh, I don't understand you guys. We've got low support in the streams. Yes, because people are slowly realizing that you're a fucking patchy beard cunt and they're leaving. Like, let's hope it continues and hopefully at a faster rate. But again, he says at the start of this, this last clip, again, he says, oh, so I'm not allowed to say a fact. Where are you getting this from? He does this all the time. Where someone will say something to him, like, maybe being a bit critical, and he'll go, Oh, so basically, you're saying this. It's like, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying what's written down on your fucking screen, you fucking moron. But he just makes it up. He, I've seen him do it with other things as well. People are giving feedback and going, Hey, Phil, maybe you should do this to improve your content. And he'll go, so basically, what you're saying is I should do this. And then he says something completely different. It's like, no, it's not what they were saying. What comment were you looking at? Shut the fuck up. No one cares about your bitch-ass, meme bill opinions. There's facts, there's reality, and then there's your bullshit world that you live in on the internet where you circle jerk each other with your conspiracy and your nonsense, and no one fucking cares about you except your circle jerking community. The problem is there's too many of you. There's too many fucking idiots. Jeez, did anyone just lose, like, a million brain cells? Fucking hell, what was that even about? Uh, uh, no one gives a shit about you, you, what you're saying, your circle jerking community, uh, of which there are loads of you. Right, so nobody cares about you or what you're saying apart from the loads of people in your circle jerking community of which there are loads of you. What? what, what where are you going with that? Like, fucking... <laughs> you know, there's reality, there's facts, and then there's the, the, uh, this thing where you're a circle jerking community of which there are many of you. What? What the, what the fuck is uh, this... Uh... Do you reckon he ever listens back and goes, God, is, is it really... <laughs> what, what was I going with it? Where were you going with it? Like, you contradicted yourself in the same fucking sentence. And enough is enough with this shit. It's time to call it out. Just because I'm one of the most abused people on the internet doesn't mean I don't get to make a factual observation. I can say whatever the fuck I want, and you like it. Or you shut the fuck up. Now, you got a problem with that? Test me, bitch. Test me, bitch. <laughs> that cracks me up every time. It's like, they're talking like a fucking tough guy. What is he going, test me, bitch? It basically just means, I'll ban you in my chat. Ooh, shit in my pants over here. Fucking hell. Like, I said on Twitter, I go, do you know what this guy needs to cheer him up? Some gifted Argentinian memberships. <laughs> That'll cheer him up. Test me, bitch. Fucking hell. And you just know he thinks he's, like, fucking well hard after saying that. Oh, yeah, owning these guys. And he, again, uh, so it's time to call it out. What do you mean? You've called it out a million times. How many times have we heard you say, I am laying down the law. I'm not putting up with this anymore, you guys. How many times have we heard you say that? How many, how many fucking wannabe wrestling promos have we heard from you over the years? And nothing happens. It's just a meaningless thing you say. I'm not putting up with it anymore. I'm laying down the law. It's about as meaningful coming from your mouth as when you say things like, uh, oh, I'm going to try to stop begging you guys. Or something like that. 
Like, or what was the other one you did, uh, your New Year's resolution of, oh, I'm not going to shit talk people I play Street Fighter with, which lasted all the five fucking minutes. Nothing you say has any fucking meaning. In the same way if when you were on Twitch, you sh- were talking about how shit YouTube is. Now you're on YouTube, you're talking how shit Twitch was. And if Twitch had you back, we all know you'd go back despite saying that there are pieces of shit and whatever. You'd slag off YouTube again. So, you know, forgive me if I don't believe you if this is your 90th, hundred thousand fucking wrestling promo where you said oh i'm not putting up with it anymore you guys the other one oh i'm not going to address the drama anymore you guys yes you are you fat cunt because i'm not putting up with it anymore i'm not i'm not gonna have people come in here on my streams and in fucking other videos and say oh he's just oh look yeah i'm like him just like me and him shut the fuck no one even knows what you're talking about i've never even heard the meme before because i'm not an asshole i'm not a fucking dumbass mouth drooling idiot I don't follow the dunces follow on the internet. It's my life I'm talking about. So you've not heard the meme because you're not a mouth drawling fucking idiot. So anyone that has knowledge of this meme, regardless of how you came about getting the knowledge of this meme, makes you a mouth drawling fucking idiot. I'm sorry, that's just the way it is. If you were scrolling your timeline one day innocently and you saw this meme, guess what? You're now a mouth drawling fucking idiot for some reason. He doesn't say why. Just that that's the way it is. You're just scrolling through. Yeah, I'm quite an intelligent individual. Oh, what's this meme? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, mouth drawling idiot. And also, now, if anyone looks this up after hearing this meme, you're now a mouth drawling idiot, my friend, according to Phil. I don't make the rules. Follow the plot of this game. This is exactly what I've gone through. I've lost tons of business opportunities. I've lost the ability to branch out on the internet as a content creator, tons of people, hundreds of thousands of people will never check out my content because all they hear is conspiracies about me, right? What they'll do is now they'll take this actual segment of my podcast out of context and just show, look, Phil abuses his viewers by swearing at them instead of actually showing the reason I'm doing it. Oh, look, Phil's uh, swearing at his fans instead of showing the reason I'm doing it. I mean, is there a good reason to swear at your fans on a live stream? Especially one that's been giving you money for two years. Is there a good reason? Again, well, it's out of context. Now, I can't say the same for anyone who's done a video on this topic other than myself. But I'm pretty sure they have. But I'll just talk for me. In this video, I've given context as to why Phil is swearing at his uh, viewer. Right? I give context for it. Does it seem acceptable to you? But you say, oh, everyone, no, no one uses Chiantix. So they're just going to use this as a, a the clip, this, and say this. Oh, the one moment of weakness where I was calling one of my viewers a fucking idiot. Like, you do this all the time. And let's not forget, the context of this is this fucking chat message, which is just him saying what you said was cringe. This is This equals swearing at your viewers and insulting them and going on this fucking meltdown. Like... That's the context. He, this is what I was saying earlier. He does it all the time. Well, they don't show any context. Well, again, this is not my first video on Phil, obviously. I've covered all, all the big dramas. And I always put context in. And other people I've watched always put context in their fucking detractive videos. So what the fuck is he going on about? And even if I took the context out of this, how would it make it seem any fucking better? Like, if I didn't show you the message, like... That's about the only thing I can think of they do, they take the context out of it. So I didn't show you the message. You'd get the gist pretty quickly, because Phil even says, like, uh, oh, he's you doing a meme. Oh, he's doing a meme. So you'd know what was going on. Go, oh, so Phil's swearing at uh, one of his members because they've said, oh, what he said was cringe and he was doing a meme. Like, but he hates that. It triggers him. Again, it triggered him in my... Um, one of the things he said about my pot noodle party when he was uh, roasting me is he said, oh, it's all stupid meme ability bullshit or something like that. He hates memes, <laughs> which is funny because he's a living meme. That people are mistreating me, that people are being horrible to me and my family and everyone else. And then when I finally call it out, oh, my God, look, in the game, it's happening just like what happened with me. Oh, that's so cringe that he would say that he think he's such a big egotistical egotistical. How is it ego fucking tistic? To state a fact, you fucking buffoon. Okay, let's break that down. First of all, the reason it's egotistical is because this isn't the first time shit like this happens. It happened with the review bra situation, which I did a video on. He sees someone pointing a camera at themselves and recording themselves eating food. And he's like, dude, did I inspire this guy? Did I inspire? Dude, he's doing what I do and he's got popular of it. And I'm happy for him. Good for him. Yes. Like, 
that's so egotistical that you'd think that. And then later on, someone in that fucking video, uh, like whole stream or whatever, says to him, you didn't inspire a view, Bray. He's never heard of you. And he's like, when did I say that? I never said that, you guys. It's like you literally said it 10 minutes ago, you fucking moron. And here he is again. Like, oh, 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 oh well, how is it egotistical? It's egotistical because yet again, you've seen something and immediately you thought, oh, me. And it's a good opportunity for you to talk about yourself and how you're a victim. Like, I, I, you're so boring. Every time, like, I see what's going on with DSP, when I, like, dip back in to the fucking, like, uh, Snortex, or what do you got to call it, um, it's, it's the same fucking shit all the time. It's him, like, going about, oh, yeah, business is slow, you guys, and, oh, remember how Twitch treated me when I was part of the partner program, you guys, and he kicked me out for no reason. You're always talking about it. And then the other thing, of course, is, oh, yeah, business is going really slow. Things need to pick up. Oh, this is entertaining, isn't it? This is fucking entertaining, like, seeing this. But, of course, it's your ego. It's all you can talk about. Again, another thing that <laughs> points out how egotistical you are is, well, oh, people in the stream chat need to start talking about the game and what I'm doing. Yeah. You are people talking about other shift guys. Like, focus on me, the great one. So, yeah. And also, you're like, how can it be egotistical when it's a fact? You can state a fact and it can still be egotistical, you fucking idiot. Let's say, let's let's do a, a DSP thing, right? Let's, like, say, you have a sandwich shop, okay? And your sandwich shop is the best sandwich shop in the country. And you've won loads of awards. And then all of a sudden, you go up to someone and go, Oh, did you know my sandwich shop won sandwich shop of the year, three years running? Did you know that my sandwich shop is better than Subway? Did you know that my sandwich shop... You're coming across as egotistical. You're saying facts, but you're still being egotistical. You are so dumb. Just because you don't like someone doesn't mean that when they state a fact, the fact is wrong. That means you're an idiot. You understand? There are a lot of people on this planet I don't like, but they say true things sometimes, and you better wise the fuck up and listen. Or shut up about it, because no one cares about you and your drama community on the internet. Just because you don't like someone, when well, it doesn't mean that when they state a fact, the fact is wrong. It means that you're an idiot. So someone you don't like states a fact, you're an idiot, regardless of the fact. Huh? Well, I, I, yeah, okay, whatever. Also, what are you talking about again? Remember, this was about someone saying you're cringy, and here you are going, you're so dumb! You think that when someone you don't like makes a fact, that it's not a fact. When did he say that? He just said what you said was cringy. Which I would argue is a fact. <laughs> so, like, what the hell are you going on about? You're getting angry over, like, fucking an argument that you've made up completely. It's like if someone said, uh, I don't know, oh, uh, I don't care for your sandwich shop <laughs> very much. They go, oh, so you're basically saying that I put dog shit in my, my sandwiches, huh? Like, no. <laughs> this is literally the same sort of fucking thing. He's just making up something to get mad at. There is an entire culture of stuff on the internet based on this level of hatred, based on this level of hearsay and tabloid bullshit, and it's ruining people's lives, and mine is one of them. There is literally no fucking reason whatsoever that I should not be in the Twitch partner program. Zero. I never did a damn thing to deserve that treatment. Oh, he did that fucking thing again that he does... Where he goes, the zero. Why? He doesn't even have to say it twice anymore. It used to be where he'd just go, um, I got zero contributions. Zero. So it's like he says zero twice for emphasis. But just then, he just goes, there's no reason I should be in zero. So he didn't even say zero the first time. He just went straight into the second emphasize zero. Like, oh, and also, why are you bringing up the Twitch partner program? You can tell how fucking, like, obviously butthurt he still is that Twitch got rid of him. And I don't fucking blame them. I don't care if they had a good reason to get rid of him or not. I mean, they obviously did, but, like, they don't have to have anyone on their site. And if I ran Twitch, well, I'd do a lot of things different, but I, I certainly wouldn't want him. He wouldn't be in my vision for keeping the, making the site great or whatever. It's like, do we want this fucking gout-ridden hippo on here, like, saying all these racist things? Uh, no, I don't think we do, actually. I think he can fuck off. But, you know, whatever. He's still going on about it. But, yeah, that zero thing. I, I think I've said it before, that zero thing. Zero! And the, what's the other one that really fucking pisses me off? Oh, when he goes, what do I mean by this? Like, when he says something really fucking obvious. He's like, oh, I made zero donations. 
What do I mean by this? I mean I got zero donations. They, yeah, we, no. Oh, I'll tell you the other thing. I don't think I've mentioned this before. I hate this, where he does this little laugh. <laughs> Usually after he said something really cunty as well, it's like, uh, oh, so uh, you tell me you want me to play this game, and then nobody shows up. <laughs> Fuck off. Sorry, I know that's kind of off topic to what he's saying, but he's just rambling about Twitch again. I mean, I've already said. What more can I say? But a campaign of slander was held against me, and those idiots at Twitch, as unprofessionally stupid as they fucking are, said, oh, we don't want to deal with this drama, so we'll just remove him from the partner program. We won't ban him from the site, because I literally didn't do anything wrong, but as we remove, remove him from the program, now we have no liability. People keep complaining about this guy, right? I mean, there is loads of evidence of you using hateful slurs on Twitch, and even if there wasn't, Tough shit, man. It's their company. They can do what they want. And he does this with YouTube as well, and I have said this before. You've chosen to, like, make your living on a website like Twitch, YouTube, whatever. You've got to understand that this is, like, a rocky type of, like, fucking way to make your income. It's not stable at all. So you've got to take the rough with the smooth. It's not going to always be... Like, so you can't get mad when your decision to work on this platform is fucking you over in such a way. Yet you do. So if Twitch do decide one day, you know what? We don't want this gout-ridden fucking loser on our uh, website. Fuck him. They can do that. They're perfectly within their right. Also, same with Twitch and YouTube. If Twitch or YouTube turned around tomorrow, not that they would and it wouldn't be in their best interest, but say if they did say, we're not going to give money to our creators anymore. If you want to make content on our websites, you can just do it for free if you enjoy it as a hobby. We're not paying you anymore. Yeah, fine. I mean, they can do that. It's their platform. They don't owe you fucking shit. Like, they don't have to pay you. It's just an extra thing they've done to incentivize people to go on their, their platforms. So, if, you know, they decide we don't want to pay this fucking gout-ridden warthog anymore, he can fuck off, then that's up to them. So, yeah, it's happened to me 100% concretely. By the way, it's on Kiwi Farms. When they did it years ago, they posted up all around Kiwi Farms about it. All the evidence was always there is that people want to ignore it. When there's evidence of all the horrible things that have happened to me, oh, that doesn't exist. That never happened. No. But anytime that I do something even slightly wrong, oh, here you go. Here's all the evidence of everything Phil's ever done wrong in his 15 plus years on the internet. That's not how it fucking works. That's not fair. That's You're a bunch of bitches. Every one of you is a little coward. He sounds like a seven-year-old, doesn't he? Like a, a grumpy little seven-year-old that needs to take a nap. Yet he looks like a fucking 77-year-old. Like, Jesus, the way this guy's aging. But, like, oh, you're all bitches. Like, Jesus Christ, grow up. And also, this whole thing of, oh, when uh, there's evidence against the detractors, no one wants to uh, talk about it or whatever. Oh, as opposed to you. As opposed to you, who there's mountains of evidence. I mean, you even say here, oh, here's the evidence of everything Phil's done in 15 years. But you always say there is no evidence. You say that they take a little grain of truth or, oh, it didn't happen. It's just nonsense. You never acknowledge the evidence. There's evidence to support all this shit that you've done. Remember the whole fucking thing? I could pick, just picking one thing out of the fucking thing. When you claimed that you had $5,000 worth of business expenses. And then you're like, uh, I'm not sure what that's in reference to. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't know. How do you not know, you fucking cunt? Obviously you know. If you're saying that you spend $5,000 a month on your shit business, which obviously you don't. And then when uh, that guy, I don't know who it was, like, called and pretended to be the, mid, what, what, the bank, whatever, I can't remember the name of the bank, um, and said, oh, can you itemise, like, tell us this $5,000 worth of business expenses? Uh, we already did explain that. We already did, you guys. So, so you're admitting that you you have said that then? It's on a public record that you've claimed that you do $5,000 worth of business expenses, yet when everyone brings it up, you're like, I have no idea what that's in reference to. I don't know what that is, you guys. But there's evidence. But you're choosing to ignore it. So why, when supposedly all this evidence against the detractors isn't being acknowledged, it's because they're little bitches. It's because they're cowards. But when you're on, like, side scrollers going, I have no idea what that's in reference to, that's just, oh, whoopsie, uh, I guess Phil just forgot. Like, no, that's you being a little bitch, a little coward, and not acknowledging, like, evidence. And don't get me started on the whole WWE Champions fucking evidence that we've got that you're claiming isn't true. Really? You're all nobodies. The people who do that shit. You're fucked up. You're broken in the fucking head. Everyone, and every one of you bitch-ass content creators out there, well, all you do is talk shit about people all day, and you call it the news? You're the most worthless humans on Earth. Right now, if you all had finger snapped away by Thanos, no one would care. You're all replaceable. 
every one of you has nothing to add concretely to this planet. Nothing positive. You're nothing but a blight on the fucking planet. You're a big hemorrhoid on all of our fucking asses who are trying to make a positive living and help people on this planet. You're the problem. Who's Thanos? <laughs> the way he pronounces things, Jesus. Anyway, yeah, so all the detractors, they're replaceable. How do you know? There's so many people that call you out on your bullshit. How do you even know what they do? But you all think they're all mouth drawlers living in their parents' basement, you guys. How are they mouth drawlers? Because they see evidence of you being a cunt, being a scummy asshole, and then they call you out for it. Oh, mouth drawlers. Sounds like a pretty logical person to me. Like, how? And how are you going to call anyone for, oh, you could be replaced? What, and you couldn't? I could replace you. If you fucking got Thanos snapped out of the earth today, I could replace you. I could easily come sit down on your fucking chair and just be like, Guys, I need your money, you guys. And, uh, I got zero support. Zero. And then do commentary where I go, Duh. 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 Yeah. Oh, this is like me, you guys. Like, you're, you're like, if you were Thanos snapped, no one would give a shit. Apart from, like, only iced coffee and their 27 alternate accounts. No one would care. Like, there's plenty of people that can sit down, beg for money, and eat cheeseburgers, like, and barely react to stuff on the React content. D also, just on DSP Reacts, what a fucking awful... Like, I thought React content was shit anyway. I'm not a big fan of it, like, as a, as a whole. Like, um, but... The way he reacts, it's just... It's a whole new level of shit, man. Like, it's just... Uh, the... 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 Uh, or it'll be like, um... Oh... One million views. <laughs> Can you believe this video's got one million views? <laughs> like, this just shows the common intelligence of the average viewer if they've got uh, the, this many views. Like, great. Yeah, you're so irreplaceable. Okay, we're, we're getting to the end now, um, but I just want to round off on this final clip. So he just now, he goes back to talking uh, about the plot of Yakuza and tries to tie it in with him. And that's what the plot's going to be, is exploring what are they going to do to try to figure out what really happened? Where did the misinformation come from? Can they figure it out, right? Now, I'm willing to bet that the rest of the game is not going to be a lengthy court case where they sue the parties for slander or defamation or whatever it may be because I always get those two confused, right? I'm going to guess they're going to go on a wild ride to Hawaii and they're going to beat the shit out of people. If only I could do that, if only right now I could buy a plane ticket and fly to Hawaii and beat the shit out of people in the streets and it would solve my problems, but sadly that's not reality and that's why this is a video game and not my life story. Jesus, he's such an internet tough guy, isn't he? Like, And let's be honest, right? It is going here going, oh, too bad I couldn't go to Hawaii and, and beat everyone up and that would solve my problems. Okay, a couple of things. Number one, you'd have to leave your house, which you don't fucking do. So that's one way it's not going to happen. And two... You really think you're fighting anyone? Look at you. I, 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 honestly, it's like someone like shaved a gorilla and gave it a patchy beard. It's like, you ain't fighting anyone. If you did actually venture out of your house to go to Hawaii, or I guess Argentina would probably be the place where your detractors... <laughs> if you went to Argentina to go and beat up some detractors to solve up your problems, like I say, you wouldn't because you wouldn't leave the house. But let's be real. If you bumped into a detractor, we know what happened. You'd come up and go, right, all right then, Phil, you're going to fight the detractors then, are you? You'd literally go, I'm an alcoholic, you guys, and sometimes I just say things. <laughs> like, and you just burst into tears. That's what would happen. But, you know, of course, you're sat in your little office, which is a bedroom, talking tough on the internet. And, yeah, like, but we know the reality of it. You're a fucking coward and a bitch. You're a little bitch. A little bitch with your meme ability. Ew. Like, fucking, this was, to quote, um, what was his name? King B. Cruel, or King B. Bitch. This was cringy. 100% this was cringy. But he took so much more away from it, didn't he? He was told that it was cringy, and that, in his little gout-infected brain, span around to, Oh, they're saying that I can't say things with their meme ability. Ew. Jesus Christ, this fucking guy. But anyway, yeah, that's about all I've got to say on the matter. It was a pretty good meltdown. Like, it was definitely one of my favourite DSP meltdowns. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one, whenever that may be. Cheers, guys.